Hello, so what we're going to do with this spreadsheet is to calculate the expected winnings for a consumer who purchases a instant lottery ticket, one of those scratch-off tickets that you can get at a convenience store. Over here is a listing of all the different prizes that you can win with the ticket. The uh, ticket price is a dollar, and if you lose, win nothing, there's 4.6-ish million tickets of that sort. Um, close to a million tickets that are dollar winners, and you can see all the other prizes here. There are seven non-zero prizes here. The grand prize is 500. 600 of those tickets are available. Total of 600, 6 million tickets uh, for this particular lottery game. Now to do the calculation for the expected winnings, we're going to come down here. The winnings would, would be the difference between the cash in and the cash out. So when a consumer let me put a formula here, equals, when the co consumer wins zero dollars, and that's cash in, and then we're going to subtract the cash out, which is the dollar up here. And I'm going to make this uh, an absolute cell reference so I can there it is, so I can copy it. I'm going to take that cell and go all the way down and control D, and it'll do the same formula for these corresponding amounts up here. Now the probability of each prize would be, again, a formula, the number of tickets of that type divided by the total number of tickets, in this case, 6 million. Again, I'm going to do a, an absolute cell reference here so that I can copy the formula. So about 75% of the time, someone's going to lose at this game. <clears throat> Click and drag, and then Control D will give you those expected counts. Now, in the calculation of the expected value, you need to multiply each numerical outcome by its corresponding probability. No cell reference needed here. I'm just going to click and drag down, control D, and you get all of the products for each winnings amount and the corresponding probability. Then the expected value is equal to the sum of all of these products. So what this means is that on average, every time a consumer plays the game, they can expect to lose about 44 cents. And the state profit, since the state's profit would be the consumer's losses, what we're going to do is just take the loss per ticket and multiply that by the number of tickets sold. And I'll put a negative sign out front here just so it looks like a positive number. There it is. So the state can expect to profit about 2.6 million on this on this game. So what if you wanted to alter this ticket a little bit so that it meets all of these conditions in yellow here? The expected loss is still less than a dollar, so this amount right here, somewhere between zero and negative one dollar. The state profit has to be more than eight million dollars instead of just 2.6 million. There should be 8.5 million tickets sold. The grand prize should be $300,000. Instead of seven non-zero prizes, have six non-zero prizes. I'm going to cut one of those out. And um, the first prize here should be the price of the ticket. So I'm going to make some changes here. And I'll even alter the ticket price. So let's change the ticket price to five. And then let's let this first prize here be whatever the ticket price is. All right. And I need to delete one of these. So I'm going to delete, say, this one because I only need six non-zero prizes. So I'm going to delete and then shift the cells up. Well, that unfortunately causes a problem down here. So let me... Um, delete out this problem here. I may have to adjust my uh, formula slightly. <clears throat> so I might just go ahead and 
increase these prices a little bit. Um, 10 and 15 and 25 and 50, but the highest one has to be 300,000. <clears> now this here is the sum of B2 through B8. That's what we want, but we want that number to be 8.5 million. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna change this one to 8.5 million minus the sum of all those number of tickets that fall after that. So therefore, if I change any of these ticket numbers that are shaded there, it'll change the top number as well. Plus the sum of all of them down here will be 8.5 million. All right, so the state profit over here has to be uh, equals, we want to multiply the number of tickets times the expected value. And I'm going to put a negative sign in front of that to make it a positive number. Uh, right now, it looks like the state's going to lose about 180 million, so that's no good. So we definitely, I'm going to delete this out, don't need that. <clears throat> and what is this formula here? A12, oh, somehow I lost this. I'm going to have to redo these. Um, copy that and put it there. And then this formula I want to be the product of this and this. And then I'll copy this formula down. Control D, there it is, and then this one is the sum of all of these products above. Okay. So I think I have all the formulas working, uh, but I don't have an expected value down here of a number close to a dollar, a little bit less than a dollar. Nor do I have the profit. I do have the tickets. I do have the grand prize. I do have six. All right, so now I want to change these a little bit. And I'm clearly giving away way too much money, so maybe I'll just make one. All right, just by changing that 600 to a one, now I'm expected to make over $4. The state's expected to make over $4 on that, and make a nice profit. So I need to give away more prizes. So let me just throw these in here. I'll say three million of those. Notice how the losers decreases when I do that. Let's, see, let's give away a lot of these. Um, so expected value is still too high. All right, down here. Maybe clear them out. Still have a ways to go. All right, I'm under the expected value of 94 cents, uh, but my profit is not high enough. So let me shrink this one a little bit. Might be too small. Definitely. Okay, expected value is less than a dollar. Profit's more than eight million. We're good to go. So there's your ticket. So you just play around a little bit and eventually you get it to where you need it need to be.